Well, good day and hello. Hope that this video is finding you in good health and in good spirits. I gotta admit, I was tickled pink when I heard the news that Joe Biden had basically called bluff on uh, Donald Trump. Yes, there will be presidential debate. It's scheduled for June the 27th and September the 2nd. Could be comedy gold. Really could be. And of course, Donald Trump already is trying to weasel his way out of it, but we'll see. We'll see. Question before the cards. Is Donald Trump actually going to manage to make it to Atlanta for the first debate on June the 27th? Or is he going to, as I personally suspect, because I'm a cynical old broad, that it's going to be something that gets shuffled off the buffalo. Um, like I said, could have a uh, comedy gold factor in it. However, watching some old man with aphasia and suffering from the kind of cognitive decline that Donald Trump is undergoing may not be comfortable to watch. So, time will tell. Time will tell. Um... Uh, New deck, for us, anyways. Um, Anima Monday Tarot. Um, going to be doing a review on it a little bit later. It's been sitting on my shelf in the, in the collection for I don't know how long. And I dug it up the other day and I was like, why the hell are you using this? This is a great, beautiful little deck. So, anyways, we'll look at it in depth later. Question today. Stay on topic, Kate question today is how is this debate thing going to go down how is donald trump going to face it is he going to be able to deal with it now that his bluff has been called i mean he's been spouting his mouth off at all the rallies about how sleepy Joe was afraid to debate him well what up or shut up here we go first card this is just going to be a five card draw Lovers in reverse. This is a card about imbalance and disharmony. Disconnection. It is being augmented by the moon in an upright position. This is the card about uncertainty and deception and secrets and illusion and it's not looking not looking really promising i think donald trump knows he's bit off more than he can chew but here we go in um the central part of the reading the central energy of the reading we have the hanged man this is a card about kind of waiting it's a surrender it's it's getting, you know, you get your perspective when you're dealing with the hangman energy. And it's about uh, transitions and transformations. You can also have an element of stagnation involved in it. And again, we're dealing with a man who is severely cognitively uh, declining, like before our eyes. He is not the man that he was in 2016. He is not the man that he was in 2020 and this this could be like very very painful to watch opposition we have the page of cups in a reverse position page of cups always on young energy so it's got that kind of immaturity about it um and it's about a, a, a lack of confidence in all pages, of course, of messengers. And um, we'll see what Spirit's message is at the end of the reading. And the final outcome card in here, we have the Nine of Cups, also in a reverse position. And this is a card that is about arrogance and unfulfillment. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not getting a sense that this thing is going to go through. But, you know, time will tell. We've got six weeks to wait. And Paige's message that we had uh, from the opposition. 
right? We have the Eight of Pentacles in a reverse position. And this is just about the need for self-improvement and really like shoddy workmanship, like not being able to pull it together, not being able to, to perform to the standard. And, you know, given his speech problems, I don't think Donald Trump has it in him to go on to a debate, like an organized debate. It's one thing when he's at a rally and he's just shooting his mouth off to the faithful, but it is a totally, totally, totally different story when he's going to be in an organized televised debate when we have to deal with um, moderators and I don't know if there'll be an audience or if it'll just be and the two um, two men on the stage and then like a, in an empty studio doing it. It'll be interesting to see how CNN does it. And I'm going to just pull a yes, no, three card yes, no draw uh, to see if it's going to happen. I'm going to use One World Tarot, my good old favorite. And like I said, just going to do a yes, no draw here. Give these a quick shuffle. They don't have to be shuffled a lot because, God, this deck never gets not used. All right. And so the first card in this is justice in a reversed position this is a no card and the next card is the hierophant also in a reverse position this card is kind of a very cautious yes card this is kind of leaning to it and here's the thing it is traditional for there to be a presidential debate between the two candidates, the Republican and the Democratic candidate. To break from that tradition, to not have a date would be a break from that tradition, and that's pretty hard on the Hierophant. So, but it's not a resounding yes. It's very cautious kind of yes, yeah, 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 because the Hierophant hates to break with tradition. And the final card that we have is the world card in a reverse position. And this is a cautious no. So overall, I would say that the energy is saying that there is not going to be a presidential debate on June the 27th. I don't think Donald Trump is going to show up. It's going to be some cockamamie excuse. Um, no, I shouldn't say that. That's not fair. I don't think he's going to show up because I think it's going to become apparent both to him and to his handlers that he's not capable, that it is going to be a disastrous outing for him to show up in a debate forum. So that's the reading for today, and uh, we'll talk to you later. We'll be back to the reg regular schedule tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.